Hi, welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go through problem 9. Uh, in problem 9, it says, let f be the function defined above. For what value of k is f continuous at x equals 2? Um, so this is a question of continuity. We know um, that uh, questions about continuity are best answered if we start with the definition of um, what it means to be continuous at a particular value, which is what we need to check here. There's only one value in question, x equals 2. So limit as x goes to a of f of x, we know must equal f of a for a function to be continuous at x equals a. And if this is true for every a in the domain of f, then we say that the function is con continuous in its uh, domain, in all of its domain. Okay, cool. So we adopt this to this particular situation, and therefore we must write limit is x goes to 2 of f of x is equal to f of 2. Now, looking at our function f, there is clearly only one place where I could evaluate f of 2, and that is this bottom piece of the piecewise defined f. Um, and therefore, we know that f of 2 must equal k. But on the other hand, we need to calculate the limit as x goes to 2. Now, it clearly doesn't make sense to use this bottom piece again. So I'm going to evaluate the limit using the top piece. Now, and considering the limit as x goes to 2 of 2x plus 1 times x minus 2, over x minus 2. Some of you may be curious why I would not bother to check that the left limit is the same as the right limit. Because if I'm going to hope that I'm continuous, then I must pretty much take for granted that the left limit and the right limit agree and just might as well get on with the computation of that limit, right? So that's why I'm not checking left limit equaling right, right limit and just getting on with the computation of the limit. But this is clearly equal to this left side. And so to do that, they've even factored it for us. So we cancel there, and it's equivalent to finding the limit as x goes to 2 of what remains after getting rid of the same factor in the numerator and denominator. And what remains is 2x plus 1. And the limit as x goes to 2 of that is 2 times 2 plus 1, which we know best as 5. Therefore, k must be 5 in order for this function to be continuous. Take care.